So other type of uh, energy what we look for is uh, wind energy. So wind as a form of energy what we are looking for. So how do you define wind? Wind is nothing but moving air. So when air is in motion, its kinetic energy is being transformed into some other form of energy. So when we say energy is being transformed from one form to the other form, okay. So we have one basic law which governs this. We call it as law of conservation of energy. This law states that, so energy can be transformed from one form to the other form, but it cannot be destroyed nor created. So we basically say energy can neither be created nor destroyed but can be converted from one form to another. Okay, so when we say energy can neither be created nor destroyed, but can be converted from one form to the other. So this is what you call law of conservation of energy and in this law when we say so then the, there is no wastage of any energy there is nothing called energy waste but why do you in general colloquial terms why do we say don't waste energy okay so so you produce heat so you uh, ignite a gas stove in a gas a gas burner and then on the, on the flame you put, put some amount of say a pressure cooker or something like that and you cook food so whatever the energy which is produced in lpg farm okay is a chemical farm uh, that you are igniting burning it okay and it is producing heat okay so a chemical form of lpg is converted to heat form of energy Okay, energy in chemical form, which is LPG, is converted to heat form of by burning it. Okay, so that heat is being transferred to the cooking material, and then you are cooking the items. So those cooked items you are taking in, and you are getting energy. Fine. So in this process, now the question comes: like, if that is the case, like energy can neither be created nor destroyed, but can be converted from one form to the other form. Very clear. But thing is like, are we getting the total amount of energy being converted from one form to the other form? Okay, that is a question. When you heat a particular uh, uh, items in a pressure cooker, putting them on a flame, whatever the heat is being produced by burning the LPG, are we getting equal amount of heat supplied to the items in the cooker? That is one thing. So, if that is the case, is there no escape of heat to the surroundings? So, if there is an escape to the surroundings, where is that escaped heat gone to? Okay. So, to be frankly speaking, it is not the total amount of energy heat produced from burning the LPG being transformed to the items or contents in the cooker some part of the heat which is generated by burning LPG is absorbed by the surroundings. So you feel the warmth over there. When you place your hands near the surroundings area, you will feel the warmth. Okay. So this produced transformed form of energy, you feel your warmth. Okay. So it cannot be reproduced back to the useful purposes. Do you get my point? So, it cannot be transformed back into useful purposes. So, in this particular context, what you call useful purpose, you use the word wastage of energy. Okay. 
Truly speaking, from physics point of view, yes, this law is valid. Wherein, in colloquial forms, when you say the energy is transmitted from one form to the other form, converted from one form to the other form, in the process of conversion from one form to the other form, it, it may not be 100% be convertible into the form, what you desire. So, some other form may be, uh, uh, some part of the energy can be taken into the some other form. Like you explode a bomb, chemical energy is being used to convert it into heat, light and sound. Okay, so one way conversion to three forms, chemical energy ignited, okay, it is exploding. When it's exploding, we have the heat, sound and light. A part of it is converted to light, a part of it, a major portion of it is converted to sound and a pressure rise, like that and heat also. Like you cannot get back those forms to be converted into a bomb again. You cannot catch hold of that sound energy. You cannot catch hold of that light energy which is given out or you cannot catch hold of that heat energy. Combine all those three forms and then again produce this reverse reversibility. That reversibility is not possible. So it is in such a colloquial situation where you use the term wastage of energy or not being properly utilized. Okay. But frankly speaking, law of conservation of energy holds good. When it comes to the wind form of energy, wind form of energy, moving air, so use a, a device called windmill, okay, where you have some blades attached to the windmill, so it is an erection over there. So this wind, moving wind will rotate the blades and then you have a mechanism over there, convert that into a turbine and then produce electricity. Okay, this is the symbol what I use for electricity, fine. So this is where you can use it. So converting wind energy to mechanical energy and mechanical energy to electrical energy by using the turbine. This way we can use. The other forms of energy are there which we are going to non conventional source of energy that we will discuss shortly. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.